let us see the next problem in the tension member let me read the problem a tension member of a truss consists of a single channel ISLC 155 at 141.3 Newton per meter and is subjected to a factor tension of 300 kilo Newton design the connection of the member to the gusset plate using lucky angles provide bolted connection using 16 m dia bolts of 4.6 grade here they ask to connect a single channel section indian standard light channel 150 means that is its overall depth at 141.3 newton per meter it is weight per meter run this is the way we have to designate the channel section it is subjected to a factor tensile force of 300 newton the given load itself factor no need to multiply with the load factor it has to be connected to the gusset plate using lucky angles. Okay, we have to use the bolts of 16 diameter. Let me uh, first get the first step is selection of lucky angles. For that, first we have to choose the properties of the given ISLC channel from the steel table. Okay, its properties are area is 1836 mm squared, overall height is 150 mm. Breadth of the flange is 75 mm, thickness of the flange is 7.8 mm, thickness of the VB is 4.8 mm. Let me, this is the channel. This is the channel. Normally, while designing the connections, we will provide the connection between this channel web to the gusset plate. This is the gusset plate. Okay. If the load is very heavy, means the length of the connection will be very large and also shear lag effect will be more. To reduce the shear lag effect and the length of the connections, we are providing the length of reducing the length of the connections by using a lucky angles. This is the angle section provided at the top as well as at the bottom. Here we have to use the two uh, lucky angles to make these connections. If it is an angle means uh, main uh, main member is an angle means one lucky angle is enough. Since it is a channel, the web is connected. Channel is sorry flange is outstanding part. So we are having two flanges, therefore we need two lug angles to make these connections. Here we have to design the connection between the lug angles to the gusset plate, one lug angle to the gusset plate, similarly lug angles to the gusset plate, okay, this is the one, connection number one. Connection number two is from lug angles to the channel flange, here we have to make a connection between here also is number two similarly for the bottom angle also channel flange with the lug angle two then third one is connection between web of this channel with the gusset plate this is three here in this connection we have to make three connections totally three connections we made we have to do okay. first we have to find out the load shared by the width of the channel and flange of the channels. Accordingly, we can design the lug angles. Okay. For that, first I will find out the gross area of the two flanges since channel is having two flanges, one at top, one at bottom. So the overall breadth of the flange is taken from the sheet table as 75 mm. Thickness of the flange is 7.8 mm. So 75 into 7.8, this is the thickness of the flange into 2 because since we are having two flanges the total area is 1170 mm square the total factor tension to be transferred to the gusset plate is 300 kilo newton so total load coming on this joint is 300 kilo newton the load will be shared by the web of the channel as well as the flanges according to that uh, area of the portion First, I will calculate the four shared by two flanges. So, the total area is 1836 mm square. Total area for total area 1836 mm square, the total load transferred is 300 means for 1170, how much? That is by proportion, I am calculating the load shared by the two flanges by the area proportion. This is the area of the two flanges. This is the overall area for overall area. It has to resist the load of 300 kilo newton. For 1170 mm squared area, how much load will be shared by the two flanges? By proportion, we can calculate that as 191.2 kilo newton. 
So if this load is transferred by, charged by the flanges, mean the rest of the load will be taken care by the web. That is total load 300 minus 191.2 will give the load shared by the web. That is 108.8 kilo newton. Okay. Here we are using two lug angles are provide one connected to the each flange of the journal. See bottom flange. Similarly, top flange, we have to use two lug angles. So, force transmitted to each lug angle is 1.1 times force on the one flange. Force shared by two flanges is 191.2. For one flange divided by two, that value has to be increased by 10% as per the empirical formula. We have to increase the load as 10%. That's why I am multiplying with 1.1. That load is shared to the each lug angle is 105.16 kilo newton. So based on this area, I have to choose a suitable angle section to be used as a lug angle. Area required for lug angle equal to that load. I made it as a newton by multiplying with the 10 power 3 divided by the stress. 250 by 250 is the yield stress divided by gamma m naught. Okay. We know that stress equal to load by area. If you need area means load by stress. Since we are using a limit set design, I have put the partial safety factor for the material as 1.1. So from this, I got the area required is 462.70 mm squared. Now I have to select a suitable angle from the steel table which is having the area more than this one. So, I am selecting an angle 60 by 60 by 6 mm as a lug angle whose area is 684 mm squared. It is greater than the area required. Okay, now it is satisfied. It will be safer to use the breadth of the flange equal to angle leg width or at this is the maximum value we can go for the leg width because here the breadth of the flange is 75 mm, 75 mm, either I have to choose the leg angle size also 75 or little lesser than that. Here to match with the area requirement, I have chosen the size as 60, little lesser than 75 mm, okay. Then first step 2, next step 2, here we will connect, we will make the design the connection of lucky angle to gusset plate. Which part is that one? This is the lucky angle. Lucky angle to gasset plate. Now I have to design this connection. That is number one. Lucky angle to gasset plate. For the first I have to find out the uh, strength of the bolt. That is the bolt value. Bolt value is least of uh, VDSP and VDPP. Shear strength of the bolt equal to FU by root 3. N and A and B plus N S A S B into 1 by gamma M P. This formula is obtained from the class 10.3.3 page number 75 in IS 800. So this is the V D S P value. V D S P. Okay. Where F U is the ultimate tensile capacity of the bolt. Since we are using a 4.6 grade bolt, F U is 400. Then coming to the N. N is the number of shear planes cutting in the bolt here we are making the connection by using this bolt we are having possibility of occurrence of shear at only one location therefore bolts are subjected to single shear bolts may be shear out at only one locations for the safer side i am always assuming that my shear plane is passing through the threaded portion that's why i have taken as n n equal to 1 n s equal to 0 therefore the whole term is equal to 0 okay a and b is the net area of the bolt at the threaded portion that can be obtained by multiplying 0 0.78 with the area of the bolt here the nominal diameter of the bolt is 16 mm so pi into 16 squared by 4 plus 0 into 1 by gamma mp gamma mp value is 1.25 this value is obtained from table 5 page number 30 in IS 800. Here once you calculated this value, you will obtain the results in terms of Newton. To make it as a kilo Newton, 
and divided the whole results by 10 power 3. So I got the VDSP value as 28.96 kilo Newton. This is the strength of the bolt due to shearing. Next I have to calculate the strength in bearing. Okay. VDPP equal to 2.5 KP DTFU into 1 by gamma NP. Where KP is smaller of E by 3D naught comma P by 3D naught minus 0.25 comma FUB by FU comma 1. Okay. First we need a value of E and P to substitute in this expression to find the value of KP. Where E minimum is as per the code it is 1.7 D naught. D naught is the diameter of the holes. So diameter of the hole can be obtained by nominal diameter plus standard clearance. Standard clearance value is obtained from table 19. Okay. So that is 2 mm by adding 16 plus 2 I got 18 mm. So E minimum is 30.6 mm. P minimum is as per the class 10.2.2. P minimum is 2.5 D. 2.5 times nominal diameter that is 40 mm. Okay. So these are the minimum requirement as per the code. Let me use the value as it is or round off to on the higher side. So provide E equal to 35 mm, P equal to 40 mm. Once you know the value of E and P, substitute in this expressions to find the value of KP. I have calculated all the four values, least among that is highlighted here. This is our required KP value. Once you know the value of KP, we can substitute this in this expression. 2.5 is the KP is the D is the nominal diameter of the bolt. Diameter of the bolt is 16 mm, where T is the, the thickness. Which thickness you have to use least among the connection between the two parts. What are the parts are connected? Lug angles one leg and the gasset plate. Gasset plate thickness is not given. We can assume that gusset plate thickness is more than that the lucky angle. So therefore lucky angle thickness has to be used that is 6 mm. We will use that thickness for the calculation. Okay. Oh, 6 mm is also there. Then thick web, web thickness. See the web thickness. I am calculating for in general. In general not only for this connection. Connection between the 2 as well as for 3. The web thickness is 4.8 mm. I will calculate for the least among all these values. Thickness of the flange, thickness of the web and the thickness of the lucky angle that is 6 mm. Least among these three values 4.8. I will calculate that VDPP value for this uh, least value. Then I will use the same VDPP for all the three cases. So 4.8 then FU is the 400 then 1.25 we got the VDPP value 30.151. This is for the least value for the thickness of 4.8. So if you use the higher thickness for the other connections, it will be always more than this VDPP. Okay. The bolt value is least of VDSP and VDPP that is 28.96 kilo Newton. So number of bolts required equal to total force on the this connection is already calculated as for one planch 105.16. This total load divided by strength of the one bolt that is bolt value 28.96 is 3.63 therefore provide 4 bolts. So now I have make a connection between the lug angles to the gusset using these 4 plates 4 bolts at the top as well as the bottom. Okay. Next step 3 connection of lug angles to the flange of the channels. So strength of the connection between the lug angle to the flange of the channel is obtained as 1.2 times the force in the one flange. This is an empirical formula. We have to memorize this one. The force in one flange is 191.2 by 2 into 1.2. We got the value as 114.72 kilo Newton. Okay. This number of force required equal to 114.72 divided by 28.96 use the 3.96 again provide 4 bolts. So for this connection also lug the angles one leg with the channel flange I have to use 4 bolts for the top as well as for the bottoms. Next step 4 connection of web of the channel to gusset. The force on the web is calculated as 108.8 kilo newton. Number of bolts required equal to 108.8 divided by 28.96. Then how we have got the 108.8? The step one itself we have got that as a force shared by the web is 108.8. So 108.8 divided by 